Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be comparing the three main ways that I think that people can become programmers or software developers. And those three ways are either getting a degree, taking a coding bootcamp, or just being self-taught. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing the pros and cons of all of those options and seeing which one is right for you. For each of these options, I'm going to be comparing the price, the quality of the education, how long it takes to actually get that education, and then how easy it is to get a job after going through these programs. Hopefully by the time we're done with this video, you'll know which one is the best option for you, or you'll at least have a better idea of what you might want to choose if you plan on going down any of these routes. So let's just jump right into the first category, and that is the price of each of these options. Let's start with the one that I went with first, which is going to college, and that one is just stupid expensive. It does have some pros and cons, which we will get into later, but this is obviously the most expensive option out of the three. In second place will probably be the boot camps because those cost anywhere from a few thousand to $20,000, depending on how good they are and how well they get you a job afterwards. In last place for price, which is a good thing, is being self-taught. And this option can be completely free because there's so much free information online that you could literally get a full college degree completely for free using only resources that you could find online. This is anywhere from textbooks to videos to even full courses posted by universities. They publish that stuff online for free on their websites or on YouTube, and you can literally get an Ivy League education for free. There was even some YouTubers that made a complete course using only free resources that would replicate a college degree. I'll put a link to that in the description below. I believe it was Forrest Knight that did it, but if it's not, I'll put the link to that anyways. So if being self-taught is free and easy to access, why do people get degrees or boot camps? What is their main benefit? And really, I think that some of the main benefits are the social aspect. You get to meet new people and they can become part of your network because a lot of my friends get each other jobs and that's how it works. They Everybody says to network when you go to college and it's hard to realize that networking is basically just making friends. And when you guys all graduate, you become your network. And I always thought like, oh man, I should be networking more in college, but it turns out I was the whole time. It's not something you really have to actively seek out. And I was fortunate enough to have a lot of friends in my same area of study. So maybe that's the best way to network is to get people who are in similar degrees as you, because once they get jobs outside of college, they will be able to recommend other people that they think are fitting for a job. And the same is true for boot camps, except a little bit less than college, because I believe college is really the best for building a network. But boot camps, you'll probably make some friends in there, which may help out, but you'll have less time to do that. So it might be harder. And I believe that the courses are so hard that it's hard to relax and meet people. If you were to compare these three options in terms of how long they would take, it would be college, self-taught, and then boot camp. That self-taught in the middle is very loose because it could take you way longer than a degree or if you're very disciplined it could even be shorter than a boot camp however that one's not likely because those boot camps are very action-packed and short if you're looking for the best bang for your buck for time it would probably be taking a boot camp because those are very quick honestly i'm not sure what would have been better getting a degree in four years or taking a boot camp in three months getting a job and then getting three years of experience honestly thinking about it that way that's the better option because once you get three years of experience you're that much more valuable and you would have been making money the whole time instead of getting a degree which is literally the opposite you could be paying more than what you'll be earning when you get out of college each year so it's really a net negative equation i guess so basically boot camps are very worth it i never really gave them much thought before this but damn should have done a boot camp <laughs> never thought of that specifically how the whole time I could have been making money instead of spending it and also getting experience. That's a big realization. There is definitely a lot of benefits to getting a degree, like just being able to meet people and have a long-term structure to keep you dedicated to doing it. But there are a lot of benefits to boot camps if you want to skip all that stuff and just start making money in a few months. Some of these boot camps are three months long and they promise you a job afterwards. There's definitely good and bad boot camps. I've done some research and it shows that there are a ton of boot camps that actually are free until you get a job. And I believe those are the best options because they promise you a job. And if you don't get a job, you literally don't have to pay anything. They just take a percentage of your pay if you get a job in the field. If you don't get a job in the field, then you don't have to pay. But I think that they kind of lock you in by finding you a job. So if you turn down their offer, then you have to pay them. So you be, be careful if you go that route because... Boot camps are a little difficult to choose which one. There are a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones. Find ones that have good reputations and good reviews, and you should do well. 
and try to find ones that don't make you pay too much up front because there are other options that don't make you pay anything up front. But basically what I'm trying to say is that a boot camp is the quickest way to get to a job if that is what you are trying to do. In terms of how easy it is to get a job, getting a degree will be the best option because right now it's just the standard. That's breaking down a little bit right now where people are realizing that degrees aren't the only way to become a programmer and a lot of companies realize this too. But still, getting a degree gives you the best odds for landing a job if you have it on your resume. A boot camp is a little bit better than being self-taught, but with being self-taught and boot camps, you really have to prove that you've learned your stuff. But honestly, with a degree, you don't even have to know that much. After you get out, you just have to have the degree and people will hire you. It's still hard. You have to go through interview processes and show you know at least the basics, but being self-taught, you have to show that you know so much more than somebody that got a degree, which doesn't really make sense because they're hiring someone that knows less than you just because they have a piece of paper. If we go based off how risky each of these options are, then getting a degree is definitely the highest, not because it's unlikely to get you a job. In that sense, it's the least risky because that one will land you the job most. But in terms of how much it costs in both time and money, because the risk isn't in not getting a job, it's actually in you losing interest or not knowing whether or not this was right for you. Because once you get into a college, you have really made a huge decision already. And one, if you have to figure out there that you don't like programming, that's a bad place to figure it out. Because then you could get stuck doing something you don't want to do, or you have to switch majors and it just becomes a headache that you didn't weren't looking for. Even if being self-taught is free, it still takes a long time and it's hard to even accomplish it. That's why that one's riskier too. Because a degree, you're most likely to succeed, self-taught you're least li likely to succeed. So I guess so far it looks like in my mind boot camps are the better option. In terms of social networking, a degree is actually in the lead for once because you have time to make friends and meet people who will really help you later on in life in your career. And hopefully if you go down this route, you take advantage of that. I've always heard of networking and how it's so important to network, but I never really gave it much thought because I didn't really know how to do it. But it really just turns out that it's just making friends with people in your degree because they're, those people are going to graduate and get jobs and then they'll be able to recommend other people that they know, which are most likely going to be their friends. So try to make friends with people in your degree, do projects together and really just get to know people in your in your classes because that is networking. I always thought like, man, I have to be doing more networking, but it turned out that throughout my whole college degree, I was doing it and that helped me get interviews and jobs. Definitely, that was one of the main benefits of getting a degree. An interesting thing, thing to think about is the quality of the education. I'd say that an, a degree is probably one of the best because it's usually structured pretty well, but this depends on each college. If I was rating my college personally, it would be probably really low on the list possibly the bottom. I didn't like the way that the course was structured and the classes, and I felt it was very basic. I'm not gonna say that's true for all colleges because I know it isn't. I know there's plenty of great schools. With that being said, a degree is probably one of the best options for getting a good education. Boot camps might be second, might be second, because they just cram so much information in and you don't really understand the basics of everything. They just teach you the stuff that you need to know to get a job which might sound good because they remove all the fluff, but really understanding how things work is pretty important when you're making apps and websites and software. Because if you ever have to dive in deep to fix something or create something from scratch, it's gonna be very difficult if you, all you know is the important high-level ideas. The quality of being self-taught is hard to measure because it depends on how you do it. If you just stick to YouTube videos, you could definitely learn a lot, but I, question whether or not that's enough. Because YouTube videos usually aren't as structured as a degree or boot camp, and there's not really a clear flow of what you need to know. So it might be difficult to do it using just YouTube, but if you sign up for courses or you find colleges that offer their resources online, then you could definitely get a better experience doing that and get a better education. And you could definitely get a better education than most colleges do if you go this route but you could also not do anything. So it's hard to measure because all the resources are there to make it the best, but it's hard to find some of those resources. In the description below, I'll put a link to the playlist that has 
everything broken down on what you need to know and it has all the links to the colleges that offer these free courses and YouTube videos. And they're all in order. So it helps you really know what you need to take if you want to be self-taught, which is very useful because I feel like that's one of the main benefits to getting a degree or getting a boot camp is the structure. So if you can mimic that structure that degrees and boot camps offer, becoming self-taught is a much more viable option if you have a nice roadmap to follow. So if you compare the boot camp and a college degree, at the end of the four years for a college degree, you will have the degree and that's it. You could get a entry level job at the end and maybe make 60 to $80,000, which is pretty good. But if you compare that to the boot camp, you could have taken a three month boot camp, spent nine months getting a job. Cause I'm sure that getting a boot camp might give you a difficult time to find an actual job. However, that doesn't mean it's worse than getting a degree because you actually have three and a half years to find a job if you do a boot camp. If you're comparing it to the degree, because the degree takes four years, a boot camp can take three to six months, which leaves three and a half years to find a job, which it definitely won't take. So even if you find a job within one year, it takes you a whole year to get a job, you still have two and a half years more of experience now because you did the boot camp instead of getting a degree. And in my mind, that is way more valuable than getting the degree itself because once you get that two years of experience, it immediately erases any degree that you had. So if you could get that before, you're just ahead of the game. Because now, instead of at the end of the four years, you just have a piece of paper, you actually have two and a half to three years of experience, which will probably not get you an entry-level job. In fact, you'll probably be a mid-level engineer, which will pay upwards to $100,000 or more. So instead of paying $50,000 a year to your college, you're earning money the whole time and at the end you get paid more. So a boot camp is definitely a, the better decision if you have the discipline to find one that is good because that's the hardest part. It's like the scariest option because it's the least common and there's a lot of bad boot camps. So it's, it's hard to find a good one, but if you can, I'd say that that is the best option. In my mind, I thought that being self-taught would but I know that personally, I need that structure to help me move along or else I feel like I would have lost motivation and just done something else. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.